Business Talk with Tom and Till. Someone asks, how can I start my own t-shirt business in a really generic way? So you didn't get any, give any details. Um, you got, you got friends trying to do that, Tom. What yeah, did they, yeah, what I, did I, they I say? I've had people asking me the same question. So don't overcomplicate this, right? So go on Pinterest, look at ideas of what's, what's coming up, what's uh, looking good, get an idea for a design. Either create the design in Photoshop or go on Fiverr and give someone the idea and have them make it. Put it up on Teespring and put in $50 worth of ads on Facebook to drive some traffic to it. That's it. That's all you need to do. So go from Pinterest, mm -hmm. getting your idea, to Photoshop or Fiverr to actually create the design, to putting it on Teespring and drive traffic via Facebook you're selling uh, t-shirts. Now, keep in mind that if you use trademarked or copyrighted stuff, you will get kicked out. So I think that's a no brainer, right? But I mean, you can be kind of slick about it. You can use quotes and other things, which which will be fine most of the time. How long would it take to do it? Is it a day, two days? If someone has completely no experience, one day, one full day. Including Facebook ads, learning how to do that. Yeah. Now, if you are going the way of Fiverr, you will probably wait a day or two before mm -hmm. someone comes back with a design. But if you have Photoshop, you just go on YouTube and look at a couple five minute tutorials, how to put font on, on you know, in a Photoshop. Or if you don't even know how to do that, Teespring does come with a mm -hmm. custom editor, which you can use. But I mean, the design sucked that way. But you could just skip and just type something up and you got a t-shirt design. I'm just yeah. saying it so, you know, to make it look nicer, where the t-shirt actually looks like something people want to definitely buy. But yeah, you could, you could even skip that step too and go straight into the Teespring editor and, and put mm -hmm. something in. But you could do it within a day. I mean, I would take an hour to research stuff on Pinterest, go on Teespring, create something, slap it up there and then get some tutorials on how to uh, just create a basic Facebook ad. Because you're trying to test it, right? You're trying to just sell something, just to figure out, can I sell these? Yeah, I like that idea, it's very really quick. Um, I, I have one friend who started a clothing company for, uh, for a sports club, uh, fr from his sports club. He asked people what they wanted to have and then made clothes, clothes for them. Um, that worked as well, but it took it took definitely longer. So you need to talk to people, and then his refunds and iterations. So with with that method of Teespring and Facebook, well, that's the way to go. I would I would people uh, recommend people doing that now. Yeah, and if you want to improve and refine things as you go, that's fine. But this is just a starting point, right? Like if you just want to yeah. start seeing if you can sell things, that that's it. And I just put about fifteen dollars in, so you don't waste too much. And if it doesn't go, create a different design. How much can you make per T-shirt then, roughly? Uh, it depends. If it takes off, you could make maybe uh, fifteen hundred or so. Um, once you start putting more money in, but if you just put fifteen dollars in, you'll probably break even. If you get lucky, so that would be, I don't know, like fifty, sixty dollars you could make. How many t-shirts? So how much money per t-shirt? I would say 10 t-shirts and you're making about six to eight dollars per t-shirt, depending on the design and how much you're charging for it. That sounds reasonable. It's, it's not bad. It's not going to make you a fortune. But I mean, if you do enough and if your design really takes off, you can make money with it. Yeah, but even the friend with the sports club, he could start with Teespring, target the same sports industry or the, the sports art form and uh, get the first t-shirt sold there and then go to the sports club and say, hey, I already got this, I already sold 50 of them, do you want to have them? And then he could charge more for a local t-shirt. Definitely, say. yeah. Awesome. If you liked what you heard, please leave us a review on iTunes. They, they do, do matter. matter. Also, come and hang out with us on, on our, our website, website yourownwayout.com. That's yourownwayout.com. See you soon.